What's going on everyone? Josh here with Piano Marvel. And this video is for Melinda Barros, but for many others that also might be wondering the same thing. So when it comes to making thumbnails for either a song, a book, or a bundle on Piano Marvel, how do you do it? That's what this video is gonna cover today. All right, so first things first, we need to go uh, just find any kind of thumbnail that we want. So we'll go to google.com maybe. And from here, we will say sunset picture. Okay, we'll find a sunset. And let's say we like this one right here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And then we need to use something called the snipping tool. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am not a Windows user at all, but I have seen my boss do this. So let's just try this here. Snipping tool on a Windows. There's probably a shortcut for it. I'm not sure of what it is, but you click new, you drag. This is very similar to how the Mac works. So you try to find a thumbnail that you think would work well. So maybe something like that works. And then you go up here, you press save as, and then you could just save this as a thumb now, and you can see the format that it's chosen is a PNG. So you could save this wherever. Downloads is where I usually like to save stuff. So I'll just press save. And then you would go into Piano Marvel. So let's just go open up Piano Marvel. You can log in. And then from here, you'll want to go to your upload section. So upload section, this should all be pretty self-explanatory, but just in case it's not. So let's say I wanted to add a thumbnail to this Muse score four. You would go to the thumbnail, you would browse, you would then go to the downloads and pick the thumbnail that you just made. Okay, so let's go back to Piano Marvel. Let's see what this looks like. We'll type Muse score four, see if it shows a oh, boom, there it is. So this is the easy way to make a thumbnail where you just use a snipping tool. Uh, there is a more fancy way. I'll show you that after I do this for the Mac. All right, and here we are on the Mac. We're gonna do the same thing. So I'll go to Safari. I'll type in google.com. And then what we're gonna do is just type in sunset picture. All right, so here is the same one. Again, I'm gonna click it so that it's a bigger image, which means that it's gonna be higher quality. If you do it from just right here, you're gonna get kind of a worse quality because I mean, you can see it. This looks much more pixelated and blurry than this one does. And that's because this is a higher quality image. So there you go. So right there, you can do this. Now on Mac, um, you wanna use the shortcut. I, I know the shortcut for, um, and I think, I don't even know if there's a way to get into it any other way. Maybe there is, let's see, screenshot. I guess if you do screenshot, you can kind of get into here. I never use this though. So what I like to do is shift command four, and then you see that the mouse, I know it's kind of hard to see, but the mouse actually has some coordinates, some numbers next to it, which is showing the pixels of the screen. You don't need to know that, but that means that you're, it's like, it looks like a crosshair on like a, a, a sniper rifle or something. Um, I've played too much video games. Anyways, you drag this thing. Now it's in ready for picture mode, just like the windows was. Drag it to something that you like. And now you see it shows up here in the bottom right. I'll double click it. And if you wanted to edit it, let's say you wanted to, you know, draw a smiley face on it or something like that. I'm sure you could do this also on windows. I've just never used it, but um, yeah. So you can command Z, you can undo and all that kind of stuff. And then once you're ready, uh, you can press done. And where that saves it is to the screenshot. So or to, to the desktop. So again, this is a PNG file, I believe. You can look at get info and check. And yes, it's a PNG image. So from here, now we need to do the exact same thing that we did over on the Windows device. You need to go log in, go to your library. And then once you're in the library, again, go to the uploads portal. From the uploads portal, what you wanna do is, again, identify a book that you want to change. So maybe I wanted a sunset to be these piano solo works by Chopin. So I don't know why I'd do that, but maybe you wanted to. Uh, okay, so find where you saved it. I usually do it in downloads as you saw, but I actually did this one on desktop. Uh, so I'll say that, I'll press save, and then I'm gonna go back to Piano Marvel, tie, and if we refresh it, you can see my favorites right here. Ooh, that one looks good. <laughs> so there you go, that's how you make thumbnails, whether you're on Windows or you're on a Mac. 
Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. As always, you can reach out to me by emails, josh at pianomarvel.com. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye. So I almost forgot to show you how you can actually do a more advanced and like professional looking thumbnail using apps like Photoshop. Now I don't have Photoshop on this computer and there's a good chance a lot of you don't have Photoshop. Uh, there's another app that does this, it's called Canva. I also don't have that, but what I'm gonna show you should, should be able to apply to any of them. So I'm just gonna go here and type in online Photoshop thing. And, uh, okay, online photo editor, Photopia. Okay, so let's see how this works. So we'll say new project. And I want the size, this is the part that's important. So I want the size to be 300 by 330. Okay, now it's gonna say create and check it out. That looks like a thumbnail in Piano Marble. So now what you do from here is you can go over to Google Okay, let's type in sunset image. That's terrible. But maybe we like this, you know? We're gonna go high quality. So maybe we like, I mean, this is super high quality. So this thing, we already talked about how you can take screenshots and that's decent, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna, on the Mac, right click, and I would assume this is the same on the Windows. You right click it and you say save image to your downloads. And again, I'm sure on the windows, it's the exact same thing. So I'm not gonna do it. If you're mad at me, leave a comment and tell me how mad you are. Uh, save image to downloads, okay? So it's gonna save this to my favorite folder, the downloads. I'm gonna go over here back to Photopia and I'm gonna drag this JPEG image into here. And now you can see if I zoom in here, we are kind of in like this cool, photo editing. This literally looks like Photoshop. It's kind of crazy. Um, so from here, what I normally do when I've made some like of my fancier thumbnails here, um, you know, I choose a font. I choose, you know, I, I go online, I find a, a signature of Chopin. I, I, you know, I try to make it look how I want to. So this is kind of a silly one to do it to. I don't know why I do this one, but if you wanted to, you could go over here to text. You could add some text, say text. And literally your creativity is your only limit here. From after you're done being creative, getting your creative on, you would go to export as PNG. And the beautiful thing about this way is you might notice that sometimes, sometimes the image can look a little skewed. And this way, when you're doing it, it's kind of like how I like to upload music. When I upload music in Finale, I know it's gonna look really, really, really good. Muse score is getting better, but when you use, when I put in the amount of time that I put into a Finale file, it looks exactly like how it looks, almost exactly how it looks in Finale. And that's kind of the benefit of doing something with a photo editor is, however you make it look here, it's gonna look the exact same in Piano Marble. So you can kind of do some really cool stuff if you want to. Okay, so there's the easy and the hard ways. As always, like I said earlier, if you do wanna have any questions, or ask me any questions, my email is joshpianomarvel.com. I really do hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.